and trying to settle into my space and girl I hate unpacking with a passion I feel like the more I'm unpacking these boxes the more boxes keep popping up that's the life but we're making progress I am pretty much done with the kitchen and mostly done with um, unpacking the bathroom the main the bulk of everything is the business stuff that I have and also like my business inventory and also my clothes shoes and clothes so that's gonna be the rest of everything here what we have on the agenda today y'all i am getting my tvs mounted i'm also getting my mirrors hung back up i'm using the same guy that um did it for me last time he did a pretty good job and then i'm also getting my couch delivered today now that's the exciting part okay I'm getting my couch delivered today. So a few blocks ago, we went shopping for our couch and the delivery date is today. Once I get everything unpacked, girl, we can get into the decor aspect of it. Now, we just gotta get things unpacked and a little organized first. Hello? Yes, they can come up, please. Uh-huh, thank you. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> you guys, tell me why I got these little, um, what you call it, shoe covers, because the way I cleaned this apartment last night, respectfully, the way I cleaned this apartment last night, I'm gonna need everybody to throw on a shoe cover, okay? I used to like not wanna be rude and ask people to wear them, like maintenance or people that's coming to my house, but it's like, you don't know where them shoes been, girl. But it's like, um, no. I'm slowly turning into a germaphobe. Um, most of the boxes are near my second bedroom and against this wall here. But I moved them out the way so when they come in for the couch, they have enough space. Thank you. 
finally got my mirrors up. They look so good. And I can't wait to see it when my bed gets installed. I don't think I'm gonna have any art on the wall. I just feel like it's gonna look perfect with my bed. Then when you turn around, bam, our TV is up here too and out here as you can see. Perfect. Well, I don't know if you guys noticed so far, but this rug is huge, literally. But we're gonna go figure it out. We're gonna go figure it out, so. Can't find it right now, so listen. Let's start with this couch, right? This couch, no, let's start with the freaking rug. Everything is like measurement is off. What I had imagined is like, didn't go as planned. The rug, as you can see earlier, literally took over my whole living room. It was huge. I was like, let me still leave it here. I'm gonna wait till the couch gets here and we gonna see. When the guys got here, the guy was like, your rug is just way too big. He's like, just, I would return it, just have him come pick it up. And that's one thing I didn't know. I didn't know Amazon could come up and pick up your package from your house for return. So I went ahead and did that on the site. I'm not about to drag it to my car for return. So it's just way too big. So I went ahead and processed the return. They're just gonna come here and pick it up. Boom. I rolled the rug back up, folded it in half, and it's back in the bag. Now let's get into the couch. The couch that I ordered is like the cloud couch dupe from Ashby Furniture, and it's a sectional style. This is how we're looking now, and I actually love it this way. When they first installed it, the L shape came out to about here. And you guys, I literally didn't have any space to walk in between the island and the living room here. That was crazy. So I told them, I was like, let's flip it around and let me see if I can have it over there. I actually really love it this way. Um, he recommended that, that I call the store tomorrow and ask them to just take um, that extra piece, send the other end so I can just have a regular couch and not have the L shape but honestly I don't hate it because I feel like over here this extension it's not blocking anything I can still make it out to the balcony <laughs> it's me trying to convince y'all for me but I could be sitting right here and you know be entertaining with whoever is in the island I have a clear view of the whole space and I can turn my head and watch tv just like that I don't gotta be facing the tv and if I do want to face the tv hop over here and face the tv like I, I i like it i like it i like it this is my coffee table that's gonna go in the center here but y'all we gotta find a rug so tomorrow to home goods we go we need to find a rug and don't mind the floor i literally just mopped and swept the floor and everything but obviously i need to clean it again we have another problem that's that was that was number one which like i said We've resolved, but now let's get into the bed. First, let me show you guys my bed frame. Ta-da! This is my bed frame. It is huge. When the guy first got here, he was like, uh, you're gonna have to take one of your mirrors down or one of your nightstands down because uh, the bed frame is just too big. <laughs> my problem with this bed frame is that once I put my mattress and I put my box spring on here, look how much freaking tall everything looks. So I'm just trying to figure out how my bedding situation is gonna be, like covering up both. I just feel like it looks super duper tall. Like, let me try to get up in here. I'm getting into bed. Girl, I gotta step on this to get to my bed. Okay, we got a little step stool. So this bed already comes with a platform. So really, I could have just had my mattress on it, but that's where we're at, y'all. Not gonna let the little things stress me 
I love my couch and we just gotta find a new rug and I love my bedding too. I went ahead and moved this a little bit, you guys. So we're a little bit more centered. So when you're looking at it from this end, it looks like it's sticking out more on that side. But if you're standing like right in front of it, it makes more sense. You get what I'm saying? This bed frame also comes with these big pillows, which I think is pretty dope. I was on FaceTime with my mom and she loves the couch. Like it just makes more sense like this. It looks amazing. Good morning, babes. It's a new day. Your girl is feeling much better today. I picked me up a matcha from Starbucks and we made it to Kroger for some grocery shopping. I really need groceries. I don't have any groceries at the house. So I needed bread. I got some um, ginger, lemon, and celery as well for my juices. Got some vegetables. Um, needed almond milk, half and half, make some pasta some cheese i got some spinach eggs i got my alternative yogurt from my little parfait bowls needed shampoo conditioner here i got this new creamer i'm gonna be trying the non-dairy creamer almond and oat milk this one is hazelnut latte from starbucks and got some shrimp you know I think I'm pretty much done. I need paper towels, and then we're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna try to stop at Target. Ah, Y'all look at these beautiful throws. Oh my God, and they feel so good. I didn't even come here for all that, right? I'm just getting necessities, and then we'll get to decor maybe this weekend. Um, This is what I got so far, y'all. This candle smells so good from Target. Candy, ginger, and vanilla. It smells so good. I love the packaging too. Definitely giving the aesthetic. And I got some pillowcases from Threshold. Um, but yeah, I just had. I just wanted to show y'all these throws. Um, I need some stuff for the guest bathroom, so I'm about to look at some of these mats. Um, yeah. Okay, got these towels. They are butter soft from Casa Luna as well. And they have these waffle towels. You guys see up here? I'm not crazy about this particular color, but yeah. Ooh, somebody just broke something. Okay. <laughs> I do need some washcloth as well, but I think I'm gonna wait and get like a pack. Cause what is this? <laughs> Not for a washcloth, baby. Mm -mm. Yes. Okay. Ah! It be the little things for me, y'all. I just got my uh, cable and internet fixed up here. So the TV is on. Cable is on. We got Wi-Fi and it's a B. Okay. So I'm in the middle of putting my groceries away right now. Y'all look at this nice little organization. Fridge is coming together. It really looked like I didn't buy no food. I promise y'all I did. I just gotta go to Whole Foods eventually and get some chicken and salmon, but I did get some shrimp and turkey bacon. My Google is back connected. Hey Google. Hey girl. Okay, she's back on. I didn't get to show you guys the bath rugs I decided to go with from Target, but I decided to go with these from Threshold. I just like this light beige, just a warm tone. This is up to my alley. So I'm gonna throw these in the washer and also I'll do a separate load and wash my towels. I got some towels from Target. I got some house slippers because needed new ones. I got a shower curtain liner. This is for the guest bathroom. I won't need this in the main bathroom. I already showed you guys my pillow covers. Um, this is from Threshold. I also need to wash these. These are some cotton pillow covers. Bam. Bam. This is a little update, you guys. So right here, I had, um, I had this vase on the corner of the TV, but. Y'all know I have this huge Ikea Hovit mirror 
and I had to find a place for it. So I decided to put it right next to the TV. And I love it right here. I think it's perfect. We can get our outfit of the day, outfit of the night, workout outfits, snapshots. I think it just looks so good. So this is our mirror here. Has to put it somewhere. You're doing everything that makes me smile. And when we had our first kiss, it happened on a Thursday. And all oh, set my soul on fire. Oh, baby, baby, baby. I can't wait for the first time. Now you let the nation just run in wild. took me a good old shower I have a clay mask on listen my skin has been going through it I hate that I missed my facial appointment yesterday because it would have just given me that rejuvenation that my skin needs between moving my skincare stuff has been packed up everywhere um, my skin and my lips have been going through it so I'm doing a clay mask I'm gonna do a lip scrub in a little bit I have the which clay mask is on right now I wanted to do the Fenty skin cookies and clean but I think I have the youth to the people one which I really like too I'm about to start editing the vlog for y'all you guys have been on my next you hear me Tasha where's the vlog where's the apartment tour drop it drop it so it is two o'clock. Hopefully I can get this video edited for y'all and posted before seven. And then I'm just gonna work on like these clothes that needs to be hung up. All the boxes that I have left are on the other side of my apartment <laughs> by the second bedroom. And those are mainly shoes, bags, clothes, and business stuff. I don't think that's gonna take me all day. I don't think it's gonna take forever. So I'm gonna work on that tonight and tomorrow. And then my apartment will be fully unpacked y'all yeah super duper excited yeah i just wanted to give y'all a quick update and tell y'all like this feels so real y'all like it really feels so real for me to be in this beautiful house beautiful apartment like this is like when i think about like my dream apartment this is it right here and i'm just so blessed man like i just gotta come on here and give praise and just thank the men above because it's like I feel super duper blessed. I want to remain humble. I want to remain thankful. And I want to, the more God is elevating me into these different roles and different blessings, I want to pull him even closer to me because that's what makes everything make sense, you know? I know I'm inspiration to a lot of you guys, but also you guys keep me going so much. And I just want to say, y'all, uh, never stop working on your goals, never stop working on your dreams. Like every single thing that, you want is obtainable and know that it is yours you need to like write that down and know that it's yours i don't know that's just the word that i feel like putting out um as i'm sitting here talking to you i'm looking at my legs girl let me show you all these bruises this is crazy i never really bruise but look at this this is what moving did to my legs you see crazy and i'm tired of these braids and they're coming off my head today yeah guys i'm sick i'm sick i'm making some ginger tea 
I just cut up and like smash some ginger down so like all of the spices can get in this water. And I'm about to cut up half of a lemon and put in here. Ginger, lemon, and honey. If you have a cold, a sore throat, the itchy throat, ginger, lemon, honey. That is the recipe. Y'all know I'm Caribbean. We make a lot of teas, a lot of natural remedies. Dang, I can't even see me. <laughs> uh, we make a lot of teas, a lot of natural remedies, but um, yeah, I'm sick, you guys. Between moving, the cold, the heat, the outdoor cold, the indoor heat, um, I guess my sinuses, my immune system took a shock. Um, but yeah, it's a really light cold. Like, I can still function. It's just that my nose is running. Sinuses feels clogged. I have a slight headache. And I feel kind of weak. Mama Bear is about to come over for the day. She said she's bringing me some Theraflu and some vitamins. And then she's going to help me take my braids down. <laughs> Hallelujah. Shout out to her. All these boxes right here are boxes I took down yesterday from clothes. And I might think I have maybe about four more to go. And I started hanging up some of my stuff. We're gonna finish that today. So all of my big coats, puffer jacket, big coats, winter coats, they're in my guest bath, guest closet. And then all of like my regular clothes and clothes that I know like I wear a lot. They're in this closet. And then we're gonna make a hot cup of that. I love this mug. Guys, another Amazon product for the win. Let me show y'all something. Ooh, new trash can alert. Bam, I love it. And this was under 50 bucks on Amazon, girl. I love it. I bought two, one for my main bathroom and one for my guest bathroom, okay? You don't gotta touch it. Okay, so, I went ahead and set this one up. Let's open up the other one and I'll show you guys what it comes with. Okay, so it is this brand called Alphaco. Once you open that up, it does require two AA batteries and the batteries go in here. Girl, I had to, took me forever to figure out where the batteries go, but you just peel off this part right here, two AA batteries. And I love that they sent some trash bags in it for you so you can use here are the, some of the trash bags they sent I'll take one out I'm gonna just leave the rest in here you loop your trash bag around this like so like that then you twist the back right here and then you just loop it through the hole and then you're gonna put it in here put your batteries on this and you're good to go new gem from amazon y'all i love it I'm, I'm about to go ahead and fill it up with all of my body wash body scrub and all of that good stuff but I love it also from Amazon and I will be sure to link it down below. I wanted to give y'all a little update on my closet so far. Um, we're not 100% done here, but I do want to keep it this light. As you can see, like these are some of my staple pieces and um, I have a lot of 
the like basics that I like to wear on a daily, some skims, some Zara, some loungewear. And um, I have a little organizing situation going on here for my sunglasses and also my perfume. So I really do love what's going on here. And then, you know, a little display going. My scrubs are right up here. I have all of my black and navy blue scrubs because those are the ones that I wear. As a travel hygienist, I mostly wear black scrubs because I never know where I'm going. Um, and then in my guest closet, I have all of my colored scrubs. Pants and jeans down here. And, um, you know, I have some of my staple bags up here as well. Some of my mini bags up here. Really, really love what I've done with the closet so far. And like I said, we are not done, but this is my main closet. And I love that it's not just crowded, you know, because I have room in the other one. So let's go to my other closet. I'll show you a little bit. Okay, so in this closet, this is where I have all of my big coats okay my puffer jackets my faux fur coats my leather jackets i have a lot more of like my colored little mini bags colorful scrubs i have more scrubs up here taffy okay more jackets more mini bags a lot of shoes and then also more jackets so i'm able to just put in more items here so I don't overcrowd my other closet. Sunday, y'all. Mama Bear is in the building. Hey, she looks so pretty. She wants me to take a picture of her. Come on. I got you, baby. You better pause for the camera. Girl. Uh, hold on. Yeah. Let me do with the regular camera. No, I'm going to filter. No, I'm going to start with filter. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Outfit of the day, guys. So comfy, so chic. I'm ready to go. Okay, my whole outfit is Zara, and then my crossbody and shoes are Chanel. This was one of the best services that I've been to. He's How good was this? This was my mom. Okay, so this was my mom's first time here at this church, y'all. With her old work schedule, she couldn't really make it to this Sunday service, but. Her schedule is changing, and so she's off so, can on you tell Sundays them why now. My, ske my schedule is changing. <laughs> Do you want to go there? I mean, if you want to go there, you can. No, that's up to you, girl. I'm not here to tell you a story. I just quit my job. Let them know. Okay. Period. I just quit one of my jobs. Proud there's of you? Nothing, there's nothing to be proud, baby. No, I'm proud of you because she is doing what's best for her, and... She quit a job where she wasn't respected. She wasn't being treated right. And, you know, um, she wasn't happy in her position. Oh, yeah. And I'm always about preaching about making sure that you feel valued in places that you work at. So, happy for you, girl. What is, what is the word that you got out of today? Is that an interview? No, that's a serious question. What is the word that you got out from today? Let's be for real. No, that's not true. I, I'm trying to tank. No, that's not true. No, you're not going to put down the camera. I sure am. Because you ain't got a word from the day no, service. No, that's not true. That's not true. I don't do that. What did you, you get from the day service? Well, I'm not going to answer. That's what, that's what you're trying to do. Because you don't have an answer. That's <laughs> what it is. If that's what you're trying to do, I'm not going to answer. But she was at church Bad like that. She was at church like, yes. But you don't remember nothing. I love you. I'm happy. I'm proud you of all, you. Baby. I'm proud of you for doing what's best for yourself. I know that right <sighs> now it may seem uneasy. It may seem 
weird it may seem worrisome of like what's next but just know that god has your life planned out and written out and trust him in that everything is going to come together and it's going to make sense you're going to be like this is why this job didn't work out because god has something big bigger and better for me on the other end of it i want you to really believe that i know you always have the right words I'm proud of you. Time. I'm really proud of you for seeing you walk away from that job because you didn't walk you, away from I things ne- easily. Yeah, I do. I Especially, never. Like, I never you like, walk away on a job. You liked. You like to feel secure. Secure. You that's like a, to yeah. feel. That's why I feel un- uneasy right now. But sometimes it takes a moment of feeling uneasy for the elevation. Yeah, but you feel me? I was so pissed. I couldn't wait on that job. I'm so proud of you, girl. High five. We're gonna we're gonna celebrate today. We're gonna get go. We're gonna go celebrate today. Let's go. Yes, we are. No. Not you cursing in the Lord's house. Oh child. Okay. I heard they got some of the best spinach dip so we're about to see <laughs> let's see baby let's see okay okay spinach dip i rated a uh, 7.5 out of 10 i've had cheddar spinach dip i used to work at cheddar's and to me cheddar's had the best spinach dip but this is also pretty good i'm about to try the coconut um coconut shrimp tempura sushi i'm gonna give that a try as well lemon drop 10 out of 10 y'all love the lemon drop Entree is here. Okay, I got the Hawaiian steak. What did you get, Ma? She got the little tea 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 chicken. Okay, I'm about to do it, guys. I'm finally home. Let me do a quick haul of a couple of things that I got from the day. I stopped at Nespresso because I needed some new pods. And girl, I haven't been able to function without these, okay, on work days. Um, yeah, I just gotta have my coffee when I'm working, okay? I'm sorry, gotta have it, gotta have it. So, I'm gonna be trying this, um, Nespresso, the Orofio, or- um, but it is a caramel flavor. And then I got the vanilla custard pie, which is one of my faves. I always get that one. There it is. And then this is the Orofio. I stopped at Sephora and I had to re up on my. La Neige um, cream moisturizer, absolute favorite. I'm always telling you guys about this. And then <laughs> I also got the Fenty um, butter drop. Also needed a refill on this girl. And then this is one of my favorite like facial spray. I should have bought the big size this time because this is my third little small bottle. And I actually really love it. The SOS Save Our Skin Tower 28. And this is like a moisturizing spray. It says SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray. And I feel like I use this like a moisturizing spray sometimes before or after makeup or just after I do my skincare period or just need a little like, you know, a little touch up middle of the day. But I love, love, love this spray. Even the girls at Sephora, like when I was checking out, they were talking about this and they were like, yeah, this is really the goat. So I got the small bottle, but really good product. What else? Oh. I did stop at Home Goods and I got these cute little glasses. I have enough glasses for me and my whole family, okay? But I have been on a hunt for these. They are so cute. And so I just got two of these. Also got these two bins from Whole oh, I was gonna say Whole Foods. <laughs> from Home Goods, and that's gonna be to store some of my wigs and organize them. So yeah, that's it, that's all.